hey programmers hey coders what's up so today we are going to solve one of the another easy question remove element still with same more dislikes but anyway this question is not too bad it's good uh, i will say so what we have to do in the question is like we have to remove the element like uh, we we got some value so we have to check if that value present in that array then we have to remove that value and we have to uh, then rearrange the uh, elements i think because of that might be or dislikes because the rearranging might be i don't know so let's just have a look at first uh, uh dry run what i want to say is all right so just take an example for example if we have this array of three two two and three and we got the value is three so we have to check if that this value is present then we have to remove this value otherwise we will uh uh, we will just uh, uh, consider it all right so now what i will do is i will create uh, one i and j okay so the i will pointing at this one so i does not know like if this value is uh, over here or not and j is over here as well so uh, what's what's happening over here is it will check if uh, if this value is over here then what it it will gonna do is it will just uh, simply re remove it so uh, it 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 is just check there is is they are simple uh, same yeah they are same so the three will remove from here okay and the j will in increment to over here the i the i is still over there this is null so no, nothing is over here but is is empty but still i is over here now uh, what happen is if if it's a, like the uh, two is a different value is not similar to three then it will put two as i over here and uh, the j will inc increment over here over here but the i will increment as well now because i have i have to i has to move further so it will go over here and now over here is still blank so the two is the different one so the two will come over here now the j will come or go over there now the j will check is three is similar uh to three yeah it is similar so we just leave it now this is what we got in the end so we have to print this one this thing in the end i hope you understand if you don't don't understand then just uh, look at the code you will simply understand what, what i mean by saying it all right so i just created an uh, i as a scope because i don't want to consider it in the for loop otherwise the complexity will increase time complexity i will just say j equals to zero j less than all right guys so now what i will do is i will check if j is not equals to the value which we want then what we will do is we will uh, we will just say nums i equals to nums j and we will increment our i as well yeah Th that's what I, I i i show you if you if you still remember just give a second yeah so that's what i say like if uh, they are no not similar like like they are different then we will just uh, increment it all right so if they are uh, if the value is similar then we will increment the j only and the, in the end we will simply return i so this is a simple course is nothing complicated over here if you understand let me just let me just zoom it for you so you can see now uh, let me just submit it so it's uh, uh, running very well very fast so i hope you understand this question the uh, the time complexity is same of and linear so yes yeah, simple and the uh, space complexity is uh, o of n as well because the uh, array is changing and is adding again so it is like that so i just want to say thank you very much guys for watching this video if you like this video please share with your friends and i just want to say like i will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye and i love you guys